A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City. Today is Monday of Holy Week and the first day of our Lent recollection. Our recollection speaker for tonight is Mr. J. Paul Hernandez, a motivational speaker, podcast host, best-selling author, and Catholic lay preacher with the Feast Ortigas District. He started serving in the Catholic Renewal since he was 13 years old. He is the president of Alpha Logistics and Trading Corporation. J. Paul is also a certified neuro-linguistic programming practitioner by the American Union of NLP. He is currently taking his master's degree in pastoral ministry at the Don Bosco School of Theology. He is happily married to Viv and they are blessed with a four-year-old son, Gray. We are very blessed to have our recollection speaker for the youth and singles, Mr. J. Paul Hernandez. Our Mass presider tonight is Reverend Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and recollection will now begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. First, I would like to welcome you all in the diocesan shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Today is also the first of three series of short Lent recollection. And the purpose of this is to prepare us to, to journey with Jesus in His passion, death, and resurrection. Later, we'll be also hearing in the psalm, the declaration that the Lord is our light and salvation. Indeed, the main purpose of God, why He revealed Himself to us in Jesus, is to bring light and salvation to our lives. We also bring into this Mass our other intentions. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in the celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. Together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am well pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Words, O Lord, our spirit and blood, you are the words of everlasting God. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord. Jesus Christ, glory, glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfume oil made from aromatic 
genuine nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Scariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said, This not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not have always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because men of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, everyone. Can we give God a big clap offering? Hindi palakpakan naman po tayo kung sa bahay kayo, nasa MRT kayo, palakpakan naman natin. Thank you, Father, for having me, and it's just my joy to be here. And my my message for the youth and singles as we prepare for Easter. And first of all, um, I just want to celebrate because last Easter hindi ko na receive ang katawan ng Dios. Because we were online, agree? In 2020, nung Easter, hindi ko na naman naramdaman yung, yung katawan ng Diyos because nasa bahay tayo. But this year, we have the opportunity to receive the sacrament. So can we give God a big clap offering because it is a joy to receive Jesus. Amen. My, my message for the youth and singles is about um, it's the beauty of God's design. And pwede ko ba kayong kwentuhan, lalo ng mga seminarians ng chismis um, and those online? Uh, well, medyo may onti po akong dayang ginawa para sa talk tonight. Uh, kasi may, because I'm taking my theology master's at Don Bosco, so <laughs> yung paper ng midterms ko sa, sa theology of the body and human personhood, maganda yung grade na binigay ni Father ng professor ko. Sabi ko, ba? Pwedeng gawing talk to. So, I, so, yun, so that is my talk today. It is my, my paper for theology. And it's called The Beauty of God's Design. And a lot of us have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten who God designed us to be. The thing is this. We let the school determine who we are. We let our bosses determine who we are. We let our money and utang determine who we are. We have let COVID determine who we are. But who are we? We are sons and daughters of the living God. Sometimes bad things have happened in our life that we have forgotten that we are loved, that we have forgotten God's plan for our life. A few months ago, uh, I was with my family, my son, my wife, my in-laws, and we were in Siargao. We were in Siargao one week before Odette. So talagang think, nakapag-enjoy pa kami. And I woke up 5 a.m. because I love photography, and I was trying to take a photo of the sunrise. So ang dilim-dilim, wala akong makita. So ang dilim talaga niyang ganyan. Tapos alam mo yung nararamdaman ko lang yung uh, sand, but it's so dark. At 5.30, medyo may onting kislap ng liwanag. Nagbukhang liwayway na, and there was light coming out. And I was, I was just, just 
so amazed with the beauty of the sunrise. It was red, orange, and then as the colors, the sky was purple and then the blue. Sa gandang ganda talaga. Sa nakita ko dumadaong, um, dumadako na yung mga fishermen. Sa ganda. And I was just so enamored by the beauty of the sunrise. Sinong dito na enjoy makita ang sunrise, taas ang muka, ay taas ang muka, taas ang kamay. Alright, wala ako lang ba nakakahilig? Sigtaas po tayo, huwag kayo mahiya. Isa pa, sinong gusto-gusto ang sunrise? Amen. Okay, ilan lang kami. Sinong gusto nyo? Sunset kasi ayaw nyo gumising maaga. Okay. Um, I, I love beauty. But one thing I've realized, I was studying the theology of the body by uh, Pope John Paul II. May, may pagkukulang po ako. Gusto nyo malaman? Okay. I have fallen in love with nature, which is not bad. And I have fallen in love with architecture, the beauty of man-made things. But in studying theology of the body, I have forgotten that God designed our bodies to be beautiful. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. Kung nasa MRT ka, tignan mo yung katabi mo. Those who are watching ito, tignan nyo, dito sa simbahan, tignan mo naman. Tignan mo naman siya. Tignan mo. For those online, tignan mo yung katabi mo. Kung wala kang katabi, tignan mo lang palad mo. <laughs> Alam mo yung taong yan, hindi niya na-appreciate yung ganda niya tsaka gwapo niya. Bakit? Because the world has told us that if you think you're beautiful, you're proud. Agree? But guess what? Can you say the word? Lahat po tayo kahit online, sabihin niyong what? One more time, sa pa. Ask me what? Kahit po may wrinkles ka na, kahit tumatanda ka na, kahit kulang ng ipin mo, sa mata ng Diyos, napakaganda mo. God does not care about the color of your skin. But because you are His creation, you are beautiful, and He made you beautiful. May kwento ako. When I was younger, my view on beauty got distorted, especially in marriage, because I saw my parents argue. Yung talagang boxing, th- thrilla in Manila, talagang grabe mag parents ko. I mean, they were always fighting, sigawan, and... And as a kid, ang sakit, kahit, hindi mo maintindihan eh. Nag-aaway lang yung magulang mo. And, and I, my view on marriage got distorted. As I was growing up, I found out, nabi ko, bakit ang daming kapatid ng mami ko? Pero apat lang kaming families pag Sunday. Pero ang dami niyang ibang kapatid. Sobrang litong-lito. Alam niyo yun, pag litong-lito ko. As then I found out when I was growing up, my grandfather, because galing kami sa magandang dugo, ay 17 pala anak niya. Na, gwapo talaga. Uh, she, he had four families. So, kaya pala takanta ako, bakit pag Sunday dinner, apat na pamilya kami, pero pag may celebration, ang dami namin, 17 families. Yun pala because marap. So, you know, a broken family and all of these things. When I, when I was exposed, when I was in grade school, so pornography. Um, when I was 13 years old, I was in the mall. My aunt was with me. She was shopping. Niya ako. First 12, daw kasi nang bunso ng kapatid ng daddy. Kasi sa yada ba? Ako kasi favorite niyang pamangkin. So she napping niya ako. Tas dun sa dressing room, tina kinuha ako nung attendant, dinala ako sa dulong dressing room, hinubaran ako, hinalikan, and I was molested. And these are some of the stories that have distorted the beauty of the body in my experience. Family issues, life issues, abuse, and I believe this is what the, what's the young people are experiencing. Uso na ngayon ang mambabae, uso ang you know, casual relationships, uso ang online relationships. So the, the beauty of sexuality 
and the beauty of marriage, the beauty of our body has been tarnished. And that's why we're here. Because you can have all the thera therapies in the world and, and it's, it's good. Okay magpa-therapy, okay lahat yan. But, if you want true healing, if you want true joy, if you want through peace, what do you do? You go back to God's design. Bakit? Lahat ng to galing sa Diyos. Tama po ba? So we go back to what God designed to be and that's why we have the theology of the body by Pope John Paul II. Aralin niyo po siya. Napakaganda niya. But three messages that would support it and I just want you to know this. Ang uuwi nating message tonight ay ito po. Tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Pakitignan lang. At sabihin mo sa kanya, We are beautiful because God is beautiful. For all those in the comment section, can you pull in the comment section, We are beautiful because God is beautiful. If we go to the beauty of God's design, we will be brought back kung anong plano niya sa buhay niyo. Marami po sa atin kasi, di ba, maraming pangit na experiences at na-derail tayo. Do you agree? But when you go back to God, He will lead you to something more beautiful. The truth is this. You are not here by accident. Your existence on earth is not an accident. Because of God's love, you are brought into existence here on earth. Tignan mo po yung katabi mo. Tignan mo kahit yung mga kaibigan mong seminarista, kahit ayaw mo silang tignan kasi sawang-sawa ka na sa mukha nila. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, kahit ganyan mukha mo, hindi ka aksidente. First message that I want to tell you is this. There is beauty in marriage. There is beauty in that one flesh union. In the, in the, the, the theology, that's what it said. Alam nyo po, because sinyar ko nga, chinismis ko sa inyo, na I grew up with pain, I grew up with heartbreak. But what loved me to me now, it was community. Kuyas, ate, sa, sa simbahan, na tinanggap ako kung sino ako. Kahit ako po yung pasaway, I promise you po, tara niyo yung mga youth leaders namin, ako po yung chief pasaway. Bakit? Pumupunta ako ng prayer meeting, hindi para sambahin ng Diyos, para tignan ang mga maganda. Yun lang po ang reason ba't ako pumupunta ng prayer meeting. Tapos one day, ito lang na-realize ko, tanong nyo, pa, tanong nyo sa akin, ano yun? Isa pa, ano yun? One more time, yung mas malakas, yung mas may gigil, ano yun? Napansin ko na lang, wala na yung mga crush ko, pero ako ma-attend pa din. And that's how my heart was transformed. Hindi dahil pinagalitan ako, but because people have loved me as Christ loves me. And that same transformation and love that I have received from my community, I now bring to my marriage. You see, I received the love of God from you and me, from God. And that's the love I give to my wife and my son. And that love that I receive is given to others. So, pag ang pinangahawakan nyo ay sama ng loob, anong ibibigay mo? Sama ng loob. Di ba, ganun po yun, pag kunyari, napangyari na ba sa inyo yun, pag nauutot kayo, tapos pinipigilan nyo dahil sa meeting kayo, tapos bigla natawa ka ng onti, lumalabas, di ba? <laughs> so you have to give para wala nang, well, para ma-bless yung ibang tao. So, my question is this. Do you choose sama ng loob? Or do you choose love? For here, those in the parish and those online, I really invite you go back to church receive the sacraments, go to a Catholic community, be connected, be, be with one because 
in this love, healing happens. Do, you, do, I, do I hear an amen? Amen. Second message, there is beauty in incarnational love. I was so happy nung Ash Wednesday. Kasi nung nag-pandemic, two years old pa lang po anak ko, wala pang salita, tas puro iyak pa siya. Hindi pa siya tumatakbo. Pero nung Ash Wednesday, hinahabol ko na siya sa simbahan. Ikot kami sa Mary Doc. Inikot kami ng ikot. But I was so happy because we received, nagpa, nagpaabo kami mga kasamang pamilya and dati, di ba, aminin nyo na, tinatamad kayo magsimba. Tapos, ginagawa mo na lang kasi Sunday obligation. Pero nung nakakamiss magsimba, and, and I, I realized that I'm just so grateful that I married the right person because the past two years, being locked at home with my wife was paradise. I was locked in paradise with my best friend, with my son, and we were just talking about God. We were, you know, of course there were problems. We were serving online. Lagi naman may problema eh. Pero I don't ko nakita sa mga youth and singles. Ito lang ha. Importante humanap ng tamang tao. Hindi porket pinakilig ka niya, siya na. Pakitag nga sa those online sa Facebook. Pakitag naman yung friend mong medyo marupok, sabihin mo, hindi porket pinakilig ka, mahal ka na. Kasi madali, marami po sa atin, di ba? Yung mga pamangkin nyo, anak nyo siguro, madaling, alam mo yun, ang ganda-ganda. Di ba? Ang tinong pinalaki mo ng matino, tapos... Ang pangit ng taste sa tao. Tama po ba? And that's, this is very beautiful. This is my favorite part of theology of the body. Is, nung nag-fall po si Adam and Eve, nagdamit sila. Di ba? Nagdamit because of shame. On Good Friday, we celebrate the crucifixion of Christ. The highlight, the climax, the glory of God saving us was on the crucifix what was he doing Adam uh, sorry Jesus the new Adam what was he doing he was not clothing himself on the crucifix he was naked his body exposed telling the whole world that the beauty that used the self-giving act of love saves souls so there is beauty in our nakedness. I'm not saying magubad po kayo ngayon. But what I am saying, that there is beauty in you. Can you put your hand on your chest and say this with me? There is beauty inside me. I am loved. I am blessed. I am wonderful. And because I am loved, I am gonna love others. So, from the cross, Jesus was naked. And you know, not just on the cross. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, what do we receive in every Mass? Christ. Napansin niyo po ba, kumain na po ba kayo ng ostya na may damit? Wala pa? Kasi ako wala pa eh. <laughs> If we believe that Christ is the Eucharist and the Eucharist does not have clothes then Christ is nakedly giving himself to you and me do you agree so from the crucifix from the crucifixion to the every mass that we celebrate we receive Christ nang hindi po siya nagtatago at binibigay niya lahat sa atin and that is what you call incarnational love. Binigay niya that act of selfless love. Buong buo po tayo minamahal ni Cristo. Hindi lang pagka Easter, but every Mass, He gives Himself fully to us. May kaibigan akong pare, kwentuhan kami, sabi ko, Father Pads, ang ganda, ang ganda ko sa'yo. Father Albert Garong ng... SSP. Bigo pa, singgit na singgit ako. Bakit? 
Because he's a priest, he can receive Christ nung pandemic, di ba? For the priest, you can consume Christ. Ako hanggang tingin na lang sa picture ng Adoration Chapel for two years. My dear brothers and sisters, what does hap- what happens when you receive Christ over and over again? Can you ask me a big, ano? As we receive Christ in every communion, we learn to love. We learn to give ourselves to others, not in shame, but that act the beauty of giving ourselves to others. A lot of young people are anxious. Diba, baby boomers, diba kayo, nasugatan na kayo, ay, may sugat pala ako, diba? Mga millennial, Gen Z, wala pa nangyayari, ah, I'm not feeling well, I, I don't feel like, th- ang daming, ar- sorry, talagang medyo maraming arte. Young people, I just want to direct this to you. Do you want to lessen your anxiety? Do you want to lessen your stress, that all that confusion in your mind? Simple lang. Gusto nyo malaman ng sekreto. Stop thinking of yourselves. <laughs> Hindi ko na sasabing babaan mo ang tingin mo sarili, pero tama na ang me culture. The world does not revolve around you. Do you want to find happiness, joy, fulfillment? Find the cause. Give yourself to others. If I can, if I can encourage you, serve in the parish. Ang dami po, ang daming pwedeng gawin sa parokya. Do you agree? Kung ayon sa parokya, find the Catholic community. It doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be big. But that small service, kahit ikaw yung naguhu, nag, alam niyo po, bago ako naging preacher, ang una kong trabaho sa community ay magwalis. Ang sabi ng leader ko sa akin, bro, hindi ka lang nagwawalis. Nagwawalis ka for the Lord. And that really changed me because this is serving, this is giving glory to God. Yung pagtanggal ng dumi. No one will appreciate it. No one will see it. Do you agree? But God sees it. So friends, especially the young people, I encourage you, give your life to something bigger than yourself and your anxieties will go away. Your pe- you will find peace because the world does not revolve around you. And finding, and as you serve others, you will find purpose. One of my favorite doctors of the church and saints is St. Irenaeus of Lyons, and he said, The glory of God is man fully alive. And in loving others, when we give of ourselves to others, nang walang hinihintay, na binibigay mo ang sarili mong buong buo, then we are loving like Christ, then the glory of God is truly fully alive. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. Mukha ba siyang buhay? Ba't walang nag <laughs> Last point before I close. There's beauty in, be- in the design of male and female. A lot of the young people today, they want to redefine. Dati, di ba, um, the issue was, uh, you know, na naging homosexual, tas naging LGBTQIA+++. Ang dami nang, ang dami nang di mo maintindihan eh. And I'm not here saying this to condemn you, no. But I'm saying you, let's just rethink. Tingin natin, bakit dinesign ng Diyos na male and female? That's the whole goal. Let us start asking ourselves because for the older people here, the problem why young people are leaving church is not because only of the issues of abuse. No. The main reason why young people are leaving the church because they believe, according to this American research, they believe that hindi nasasagot yung mga tanong nila. Their faith questions. So I'm saying this, the Catholic Church, there is a Catholic practice on intelligence, on reason. Lahat po ng young people, lahat ng Catholic belief, hindi po inimbento ng Papa, ng Holy Father. 
hindi inimbento ng bishop, but there is an intellectual tradition na inisip natin to. Why? Because our church was not invented ng wala lang. Because the disciples, the early church, the church fathers was connected to Christ. And the bishops and the priests, they are connected to them. So wala po tayong inimbento. So lahat po ng paniniwala natin ay connected sa Diyos. So what am I saying? Young people, do you want happiness in your relationships? Do you want to have a good marriage in the future? I encourage you to research and ask this question. Why did God purposely make us male and female? There is a reason where God, why God designed that. When men and women are in full communion and in, in harmony, it becomes beautiful. We go back. Simple lang. I can answer. Ang haba ng sagot, but pinaka simple answer ko is this. Go back to God's design in the Garden of Eden. Go back to God's plan. Do you want to reclaim your manhood and your womanhood? Go back to God's design of who you are. Men, I invite you, be like Saint Joseph. A man of strength, a man who protects, a man who leads, a man who cares, a man who provides. Hindi po tayo tumatakbo. We will love and fight for our family. And dear women, online and everyone here, I invite you to look at the most beautiful creature ever created, the Blessed Mother. In her beauty, I believe you will find your true womanhood. This Holy Week, this Lenten season, young people, I invite you to reflect on it. Why did God make man and woman? And think about St. Joseph and the Blessed Mother. My dear friends, for everyone here and those who are watching, just in case there are problems in your life the past few years, you've lost your way, hindi mo nakilala sino ka, hindi mo na alam bakit ka nabubuhay, you have many questions, many brokenness. Just want to tell you this, God knows you. God hears you. In the times you were crying, God is crying with you. In the deepest recesses of your heart, that's where God dwells. And can you tell the person beside you, you're never alone. As I end, can I ask you, sorry, marami hilig akong pagdaming ginagawa, ah. Can I ask you to tell the person beside you or go around, kahit ikot mo yung mukha mo, yung ganyan ka, at sabihin mo, bawat taong maka eye to eye contact mo, you are beautiful because God says you are beautiful. For those online, can you put in the comment section and tag your friends, tag yourself, and say this, you are beautiful because God says you are beautiful. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear Catholic family, God is not just beauty. God is not just beautiful. Who is He? He is the source of beauty, the source of life, the source of joy, the source of hope, the source of abundance, the source of blessing. And that same God is the one who loves you. So I pray that you will have a meaningful Holy Week and the glory of God will shine on Easter Sunday. Do I hear an amen? amen. Thank you so much for having me tonight. May God bless you forevermore.
Jesus says, gentler manner, invites us to turn humbly to Him for forgiveness. Assured of His compassion, let us bring our petitions before Him. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering and experiencing difficulties in life may bear their trials with patience. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That prisoners may have the consolation <laughs> of the Spirit. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may come to the aid of the destitute. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may draw courage and strength from the cross of Christ. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to find cure as soon as possible, so that those already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmission. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in the life may rest in God's peace. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you send your Son to us on a mission of mercy. Grant that we may always be comforted by his gentleness and strengthened by his presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred, bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Arnold and Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace to all of you. Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He was sent by the Father to reconcile us with Him, to bring us back to His original design, become holy, empowered, and purpose-driven. Let us receive Him, for the Lamb of God who will shepherd us. We hold Him because He will take away the sins of the world and our sins. And blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Reminders, Holy Communion will be done by rows. Kindly maintain a safe distance from one another, and please sanitize your hands before receiving the body of Christ. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Okay. 
Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of the sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal redemption, by which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID 19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world we pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, 
Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadimitz. Please be seated for some announcements. Our Holy Week 2022 schedule of Masses and activities on-site and online are as follows. On Holy Tuesday, April 12, and Holy Wednesday, April 13, our Lenten Recollection and Mass is at 6 p.m. For Holy Tuesday, our speaker is Father J. De Leon, SVD, Mission Secretary, SVD, Botswana Province, Africa. On Holy Wednesday, our speaker is Ms. Isa Caparas Tabayoyong, Family and Relationship Consultant, The Love Institute. Also, on Holy Wednesday, from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m., Pabasa. Holy Thursday, 8.30 a.m., Lord's Morning Prayers, 2 p.m., Virtual Visita Iglesia via live stream, 5 p.m., Mass of the Lord's Supper, 6.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., Adoration to the Blessed Sacrament, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., Confessions Inside the Shrine. On Holy Friday, 8.30 a.m., Lord's Morning Prayers, 9 a.m., Stations of the Cross, on-site and online, 3 p.m., Celebration of the Lord's Passion, 5 p.m., Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother and Burol ni Jesus. On Holy Saturday, 8.30 a.m., Lord's, 7 p.m., Easter Vigil, followed by Salubong. Easter Sunday will follow the Sunday Mass schedule as shown on the screen. Thank you for your support, Reverend Father Ronnie Crisostomo, SVD Shrine Rector. Please remain seated. So good evening po to everybody again. So on behalf of our Shrine Rector, Father Ronnie Crisostomo, SVD, our Vice Rector here present, Father Ronnie Espartines, and our Formation Ministry, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to Brother J. Paul Hernandez uh, from the Feast Ortigas. Thank you, po, Brother, for your inspiring reflection tonight. Um, very in line siya with our theme, no? yung new light and new life. No? And as we continue our journey in our new normal, finding and appreciating ourselves, our body, and the God, who is within us in silence is a very important reminder for everybody. So again, thank you po, brother. Sana po makaulit kami sa inyo. From the Shrine community po, thank you. We rise. So, konti clarification, yung feast pala is a program ng Cuddle Community, the Light of Jesus Family. It's one of their parang program. Marami pa sa ibang program. Light of Jesus Community. Magsitayo po tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance but above all with purity of mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.